The announcement about the demise of former Uganda People's Congress stalwart Joseph Bosa was first posted by the judiciary on their social media platform. According to members of the party, Bosa wholeheartedly served UPC as vice president until April 2019. He had served since 2016 when Dr. Olaro Tunu quit the party to pave way for general elections. Bosa was vocal in issues regarding a stronger and united opposition. All these democratic-seeking parties and organizations coming together and pulling together, it is near impossible for any single one of them to dislodge NRM and the MSM7. Some members of parliament have described Bosa's death as a big blow to the country. We will definitely miss people like Bosa who have invested their life in not just the campaign, but the build up towards a peaceful Uganda. He treasured the aspirations and the values of Uganda People's Congress. Yes, we were in opposition, we were in government, and now we are in opposition. And for him, he wanted us to even go back to power like yesterday. One of his friends, Mr. Peter Walubidi, says Mr. Bosa has died at a critical time when the country needs resourceful people like him. Bosa represented the return of Uganda to the leadership of the party they founded. Is the quality of leader that we deserve and that we shall now miss. Bosa, who is survived by four children, was married to Honorable Lady Justice Solomon Balonji Bosa of the International Criminal Court. According to Solomon Muita, the judiciary spokesperson, Bosa died last evening in The Hague, Netherlands, and funeral arrangements will be communicated in due course.